Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd take a look at Max Payne. Uh, it's fairly old now. I remember picking this game up when I was at college when I was younger. Uh, I picked it up in Woolworths in St. Austin in England. And um, yeah, I was presently surprised that it was a fantastic game. Uh, and it still looks fairly good. I mean, the graphics obviously look a little bit dated. But it still looks like playable um, by today's standard. Um, completed it many times. Uh, if you haven't played it, I will. Uh, I won't give out any spoilers, or I'll try not to. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hope you enjoy the video. Stand by ten ten. Investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. Ten foot dispatcher, verify address. It's Acer Plaza. Repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct. Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See you, Alex. They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Game is such an amazing, uh, just, it's just amazingly done. The narrator is fantastic. And it just kind of draws you in, creates that atmosphere. What the hell? Whoops. How do I, uh, I'm trying to figure out these controls quickly. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Shell! No! 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 No!
Michelle! Oh, wait! It's coming. Freeze! NYPD, drop it's it! It's coming! It's gonna stop! No. No, no, please, God, no. God, this game still sends chills down my spine. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Three years ago, everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst Mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Beretta ammo? What else have we got in here? Pain the pills would ease the pain. Flush the toilets, of course. Turn the shells on. Okay. And the sink. Right now I can't turn it off. Oh well. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's the plan? Simple. Gun down every mother loving bastard that gets off the train. Sweet. Didn't the train go already? No idea. Let's just wait and see. What the? Um, there we go, got him. Scumbag. Don't remember if we're coming again this door. No, it's locked. There you go, bullet time. Matrix style. Yeah, he's dead all right. Hey, it's me you're talking to. <laughs> gotcha. Yo guys, yo guys, hey, we're getting around. 
You hear me? What the? What the? Down you go. Scumbag. How <laughs> that old whistle. Oh, he's got a shotgun, has he? Nice, I'll take that. Whoops. What's in here, Anthony? The security oh. panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. Nice. Eh? No. Eh? Forget it. What the? What the? Uh oh. Damn. Got him. Got all of them. Like a boss. A cop's dead. Um, delete is painkillers. Nothing in there. Some ammo. While looking for Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. The riskiest high seven, huh? But hell, the payoff makes it worth it. I'm guessing I can't get down there yet. I've got to go down on the uh, train tracks. It's been a while since I played this. Just trying to remember uh, how to get through it. Can we go through up here? I think we can. And that train, I think we can move. This is good. Oh! Did I shoot him before he shot the guy? Yeah, I you saved, saved him. Me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Oh, that's right. I've got to ram the train through there. Now I remember. Let's take him upstairs to the control room. Come on, buddy. Home free. This way. Oh, look out! Damn. That scumbag guy. There's a lot of them in it. Down you go, fool. lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on.
being subtle. So many of them. Gotcha. It's locked. Do I have to dive over the train tracks? There we go. I guess these little barrels here are flammable as well. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Other facial expressions as well. Yeah, spooky. But also, it's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about it if I was you. Yeah. The station's not secured. Someone decided to play hero upstairs. That's all we need. Not sure. Is there anything else around here? That's a dead end. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's right, I think you can smash these boxes. Yeah. Oh my god, he got me. Damn it. Facial expressions are still worse than that. Oh, 
Okay, let's try again. Yeah, this game can be over just like that. You gotta be uh, careful. Into the water you go. Let's make a save now, quickly. Just in case. Checkpoint was miles away. What the hell was that? All done here. Give me the detonator. Whack him! The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Take some painkillers. Let's do a quick save here. That's how you do it. Gotcha. Jeez, I thought I was going to die there. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Oh shit, grenade.
Do a quick save. Whoops. Oh, shit. You almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, am I glad to see you? What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to take a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Damn. Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Shut up. Jeez. That almost killed me. Is that some painkillers? No, it's phones. Oh, there's some painkillers right there. Awesome. Oops, jump. There we go. Just the same guy I killed from earlier. Okay. of the subway by the looks of it. Yep. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Pino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves, or you get some wino downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. I'm like a saving complete. He's dead. 
That was the last one. Gotcha. A letter on the desk caught my eye. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnetti. Gagnetti was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security. Locked doors and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa. A spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. We're now, bosses. We're coming in. It's pain. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked, and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Vibrating bits. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Down you go. Previously on Lords and Ladies, Lady Amelia, Marquis Valen. Let's say quick. Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, hey. brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. My lady.
my lord? My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is. V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. There has been sunlight to the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister! There he is! I... Oh. Gotta love that desert eagle. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst <laughs> winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. Uh. So he had a rough time. Did I just come from here? I did, didn't I? Yeah, that way I've already been. Watch out for the junkies. Jeez, I should have done that. Oh! Gotcha. That's close. I should have done bullet time. Lost a lot of health there. I found Muerte's room. I remember that bit. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, <clears throat> the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it.
Hold it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like that. Right back here. So yeah, this is one of those games you just have to keep saving. Because the checkpoints are uh, pretty far back. I found Muerte's room. Muerte had received a letter. Okay, we can skip all that, we've seen it. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. A little secret for uh, extra ammo and stuff that room. Be careful you don't fall off. Okay, up we go. Oh wait, do we go up? No, we don't go up. My bad. Maybe we do have to go through here. Let's check. Hmm. this bit. Hey! Told you! God damn! I thought it was a bomb for sure! Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought it was a bomb! The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed. If her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the video there. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh... I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching.